Yo, what's up, guys? Your boy, the pig, aka Snout, aka the defibrillated musket, bring you a brand new episode of 404 Mania. When Saito's video, as I said, we're going to be doing the best mission cars in 404 Mania, creatability, and all of the above. But without further ado, here we go. Guys, in no particular order, the first car that we'll be doing is the buggy or Crawley. So, guys, Crawley is an amazing car. It literally can encounter every terrain and maybe do a backflip along the way. You never know. But this car can reach on drag strip tuned uh, 290 k's an hour with uh, nitrous, as I said in the previous uh, video, the fastest cars in Formula Mania. Check that one out. It's got 180 views. But this car basically can just encounter every terrain and drop it. It's not even that hard to get up everything. The reason why I'm doing it in the Badlands is. Well, this car got released with the Badlands. This car can get crates. It's just amazing. This car will be able to get, like, crates in a matter of seconds. This is, like, the electric hummer killer. This is why this car is just probably, in my opinion, I'd say probably the best crate car or mission car in the entire game. Just for the simple fact that it can crawl. It's fast in just any terrain at all. Well, maybe not the swamp, but it's fast at pretty much any terrain. It'll just, it'll just wreck, you know? It's just... I don't know what to say, but this car will drop anything. Fully maxed out, this car is just too good to be true. So guys, today there'll be five cars on this list. Um, well, not only five cars, but five like stock cars that you can change into a proper car. But we'll be rating it on crate ability. And obviously we're showing highlights of the, the buggy in the background because it's that good. Um, but so we'll be going on crate ability. Like, being able to encounter every single terrain. This is basically just off-road racing, guys, here, as Gusto likes to call it. But also, go check out Gusto's channel, because he's posted the best crawls in 4 for me. But guys, that'll bring it to the end of the buggy car. Yeah, a crate will appear in 30 seconds. We'll be getting that after this clip ends. But yeah, guys, buggy coming in at the first spot. Not at the first spot in no particular order. For one of the best mission cars in the entire game. Probably, if not the best. Let's head to the second car. The second car is the Bouncy Racer. Now, the Bouncy Racer, when you buy it, it's completely maxed out, guys. Apart from the winch. The winch needs four upgrades and it's done. I'm doing it in the hills, because why not? Um, this car can pretty much encounter every terrain. Drag tune, it can go 300 k's an hour with nitrous. This thing is so fast. Like, I mean... I don't know what to say, except this car can crawl. This car was literally my crawler for like four months in 404 Mania. This car is just drop worthy. This is so good. Like, this car is... I don't know what to say, but this is one of my favourite cars back in the day. It's just... It can drop every terrain. It can climb almost vertical walls, not as good as the buggy. But it can crawl. It can... It's good for speed. It's probably one of my more retired cars. I don't use it as much anymore. But it's still, as I gotta say, it's still one of the best of the best all-round mission cars in the entire game. Now, comment down below if you if I if you think I've missed any cars that you reckon are probably worthy of being in this list as well, guys. But also, tonight, guys, the uh, brawl talk is one of the new brawl talk is coming out. I can't remember what the title was. It's pretty sick. But guys, definitely go check that out. I'll probably be doing a review with Gusto on it or something like that. Who knows? And also, Donk Fire Origin Story, the first one coming out. It's Donkey's Origin Story. That'll be coming out soon, guys. It's so good. Me and Gusto have been recording it. It's beautiful. But yeah, bringing in, bringing in the tally at number two. This car is... I think I think everyone would agree. I'd say you probably should you probably should agree with most of these cars. This is my opinion anyway, guys. If you have a different opinion, comment down below some other cars that could be on this list that I might have forgotten. Because you never know. I forgot about the Steve for the fastest cars in 4th Mania, which turns into Hot Rod L7, which is probably the far, one of the fastest cars in the game. So, you never know. I, I could miss something. Um, you never know. But without further ado, we'll probably be heading to the next car on this list. Oh, another crate spawning. Before I... But without further ado, let's head to the next car. So, the next car is Electric Hummer. It's no list without the Electric Hummer. Come on, guys. It's just... It's one of those cars that broke the game. Everyone can agree it was good at everything. Maybe not crawling. That's the only downfall about this car in the missions cars. But this... There's no doubt about it. It's... The fastest, it's got the fastest car in the game. It's got one of the best all rounders in the game. The best derby car in the game. I'll be doing derby cars probably soon. But, um, man, I don't know what to say, but this car is too cracked to be true. They nerfed the health 
on this car in the most recent update, which is fair because this car was the biggest game changer probably in history, as well as like the Foreman, the Buggy, the Monster, actually just Project Vehicles as well. But this car, as you can see, it's not, it, its strong suit is not crawling. Its strong suit is speed, flat out speed across all terrain. Uh, this is my derby tuned car, so don't say, Oh, my, the Econ's trash, you know, you can't go, you can't crawl. Well, shut it. This car can do all sorts of sick terrains and stuff. This is just not my derby tuned car, so that's why it's not going as far, as fast off-road. Because I don't want to tune fast AF in a different way, because that's obviously my fastest car. So, um, I hope you guys are enjoying the 4 for many videos, because they're really good. Oh, subscribe to Ace of Assault as well, guys. He's got tons of views on his videos. He shouted me out in quite a few videos, so definitely subscribe to his channel. He creates amazing content, literally just shorts, so you can just pop around to his channel and watch all his videos in just like that, you know? Um, they're really good videos, guys. They're funny, but there's only there's also another downfall. Can't use nitrous with this car, but this car tuned right. Like, for example, you've got the Digger L7, you've got Big Mud, you've got Long, Big Bonk. You've got tons of cars that are really good for this. Next car. Next car, surprisingly, is the monster truck. Um, this car sneaked on the list for the simple fact that it can drive on water and is probably my number one pick for the swamp. I don't think I don't think any other car is probably as good as this at the swamp. Just look at it; it just it just beasts through it all. It is just unstoppable. This car is way too good for the swamp. Probably one of the more it's not really as controversial of a project vehicle, I guess, but. This car is not the, it, I gotta say, it's not the fastest drag car at all. It only reached like 260. You can't really drag tune this car, and I, I don't think, I don't expect you to do it. But for the simple fact that you can do tons of body work on this car, like you do the police car, which is my favourite because it's so funny. And also this car is just, I don't know what to say, but it's really good. I'm showing you another clip in the desert of me doing it, just to say that it can also do other terrains. It can do desert it can do any terrain really maybe hills like badlands is probably its weakest suit but i gotta say desert and swamp are its strongest suit so if you have the monster truck or little timmy as it's called i'd recommend using it in these kind of terrains because look look at this simple as this go in the water chill out with friends your friends can't come after you like imagine just flexing that you got the monster truck like oh yeah that's cool it's not really that fast then you go in the water they can't drive on water you know they've got they've got their buggies they've got their e pumps they sink you float you see that's one thing that's really good about this car but you're like oh damn man you can't really get out of the water it's really hard because the car's so slow well that's where you're wrong because this car's fully maxed out cuz and this can get out of the water just like that look it's climbing almost vertical walls well steep but yes i do agree it's not that good of a list next car the next car is the Foreman. Um, as I said before, one of the more controversial cars in the game. But this car, look, Digger L7, beautiful, fully maxed out, literally one of the only fully maxed out cars in the game. Man, I don't have a Foreman to show off to you guys. Like, all my cars are, like, pretty much fully tuned the right... Like, all my cars are, like, better than these. Like, the buggy is better at crawling all these. But these cars, they'll cover snow. They're probably the second best pick for Swamp. They will literally do every terrain. I've got to say an exception for Badlands. Uh, it's not seriously fast at Badlands. The only car that's really good at Badlands is uh, DVNS, which is probably the best crawl in the game. Um, there's that. There's a few other cars. You have to tune your car very well to go to Badlands. And this is one of those cars that's hard to tune it. Maybe a little minor tweaking on this car could get you some good stuff in the Badlands. But this car is... Oh, I don't know what to say. This car's amazing. For the fifth car on the list, like, out of all these five, I hope you guys en well, enjoyed and took this, like, information seriously about what cars you should use for all-round terrain and what cars to not use. I'll probably do the worst cars before I may soon. As we all know, the hauler and the tank will be on there. The Shiga, perhaps, will make an appearance. Um, but, yeah, that will be a later video to come. But, man, I just enjoy doing 4 from eight videos since I get more view I get lots of views on them. And guys, that'll bring it to the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe to us to Adro and Ace Assault because they're the main men. They are they are Aussies. Um, and also got seven maxed out cars in my um driveway, but I've actually only got six. But it one's in the garage because you actually can't have more than six cars in out in the park. But um, that'll bring it to the video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video and took this information more seriously than say my other more joking for from videos. But guys, that'll be it for you. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you in another video tomorrow, guys. Goodbye.